Well, hello there, everyone, and welcome back to a Resident Evil 2 Let's Play. This is going to be a clear A scenario with a no save, no first aid spray run. Let's get right into it, and shall we then, guys? Oh, nope, not a range mode. <laughs> Let's go with normal. Resident Evil 2. A bizarre incident occurred in the outskirts of an American suburb called Raccoon City. It was later revealed that the terrible disaster had been caused by the T-Virus, a mutagenic toxin created by the international enterprise Umbrella Incorporated for use in bioweapon experiments. The Raccoon City Police Department's Special Stars Unit immediately began investigation of it. The case was apparently closed, thanks to the efforts of STARS members Chris Redfield and Jill Valentine. But the Umbrella Corporation's experiments were far from finished. So yes, the reason that we've chosen Claire A to start with is simply because, to me, canonically, the events of Resident Evil 2 are Claire A, and then Leon B. Because it makes the most sense in my opinion. <sighs> I'm finally here. Oh, this voice actor for Claire was perfect. Probably one of the, the main good things about Code Veronica is the fact that it was uh, the original voice actor returning. I can't remember what her name was though, unfortunately. Guys, I'm a maniac. Why did he bite me? Hello? Is anyone here? Hello? Uh, hello? <gasps> Look, I'm sorry I bothered you, okay? Just don't come any closer. Are you listening? Stay out here. Head to the police station. It'll be a lot safer. Oh yeah, a lot safer, Leon. A lot safer. There. Okay. What's going on? I arrived in town, and the whole place went Great. insane. The radio's out. You're a cop, right? Yeah, first day on the job. Great, huh? Name's Leon Kennedy. Nice to meet you. Mine's Claire. Claire Redfield. I came to find my brother, Chris. That's something cool that's about to come up. The zombie that attacks me in the back of the police car is the exact polygon model hey, for Leon. Could you so, basically, box? they're getting sure. attacked by zombie Leon. There's a gun Pretty cool, inside. huh? Better take it with you. You okay? Still in one piece. Head to the stairs. 
station. I'll meet you there. Okay. Right then, let's get right into it, shall we? I love this opening section. It was so much, it, this is great. The remake, as great as that game was, I finally lacked. The fight lasted about two minutes. It wasn't great. Expert zombie dodging skills. Who are you? What are you doing here? But in regards to the remake, though, I absolutely love what Let they did with Kendo. It. I mean, they really flushed out his story so well. It was great. And extremely Ooh. heartfelt as well. Sorry about that, babe. I thought you were one of them. What's going on in this town? Hold on. I ain't got no clue, darling. By the time I noticed something was wrong, the entire city was infested with zombies. Now, as we're trying to get the special key from Brad, we won't be picking up any items as well. Because Claire's a bad bitch and she don't need no shit. Sorry, Kendo. Let's just tweak that, shall we? D -d 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 auto. Hey, if you can use it, use it. That's my that's my philosophy. What are we working with? Three rounds. Okie dokie. It's going to be dodging 101 now because we are out of ammo. <laughs> oh, I shouldn't have done that. Oh well. It's better than nothing. And then you. It. Oh, he lost an arm. Oh, he's got an arm off. God, I love Shaun of the Dead. Such a great film. Oh, he's got an arm off. Dodgy dodge. Dodged. Perfection. Well, let's go say hi to Brad. Also guys, I've finally got my new microphone. Um, I'm hoping that the quality is a lot better because I was actually using my iPhone um, on a lot of my other videos and as acceptable as it was, I just feel that this is gonna be a lot cleaner and a lot, well, let's just put it as it is, a lot better to be using. So yeah, I hope uh, the audio quality is a lot better. You can hear my lovely voice. We get the ammo. Oh, this intro. Come on. Yeah. Okay, so let's get the ammo from the desk and let's go take out Brad.
wonder if we can get a little... Chicken heart, let's have it. No, Marvin. Hang in there. Are Joe, you welcome to Raccoon City. How much cooler? I mean, how cool do you think it would have been if they actually got Will Smith to like play Marvin? Claire, like, Claire Redfield. You know, I'm looking for my brother Chris. And like the irony is, it's like we he finds his wife with him getting eaten by a zombie, and he's just like, Chris, keep my Jim wife's Barry. skin out your fucking mouth, and just shoots it in the head. Boom. We should have listened to great. Them. What happened? About two months ago, there was this incident involving these zombie-like creatures. creatures. In a mansion located in the outskirts of this city, Chris and the other STARS members discovered that Umbrella was behind everything. At the risk of their own lives. But <laughs> I, no love, I love like the, the, the death sounds in this game. Uh, Are you okay? It's like Don't so guttural. <laughs> Just rescue so good. in the other rooms. Here, take this key card. You should be able to unlock the doors in the hall with this. Now go. But Just go. Okay. Just hang in there. I'll be back soon. How did you lock that door so fast? Pulling bullshit. this way first because if we go through the other way we are gonna die okay let's drop off the knife and oh actually I'll need that one <laughs> I was gonna dump the pistol but I I will need it oh nope nope can't be using that Nope. What was that? I'm introducing the best camera angle of this game. Oh yeah. Some extra ammo.
Okay, we might have to like rough house get into the save room. Because we've only got one. I couldn't even. Make more sense. Ah, oh, fuck. Time to giddy up and rock and roll. Oh yeah. The single action army. Let's go. God damn, I keep going to check, son of a bitch. Is he dead? Nope. Now he's dead. I'd say so far it's going so good. It's going all right. First puzzle of the day. First things first, let's just grab these. First try, let's go. Okay, I think I'm gonna. Oh, I forgot, I'll take it. See, so, yeah, I love doing the whole no save, no first aid spray runs in these games. It just. I know, I think, like, the first aid sprays are a bit of a cop out, really. Like, don't get me wrong, if you're in a situation where you're not that great at these games, don't try it. It's, you're just not gonna have a good time. But it just adds that kind of element of just, you know. Tenseness. Well, tense until you get a grenade launcher. And then pretty much. Good lord, this this weapon does not have carry you through like oh, so much of this game. I love it. Okay. I mean, a lot of people in the remake were saying how they thought that the acid rounds weren't that great, but I'll tell you right now that during G3, it stuns him. And if you've got enough of them, you can quite literally just stun lock him to death. Which, if you're doing a no damage run, well, let's be honest with ourselves, it's key. I was actually watching um, Dante Ravioli, one of my favourite Resident Evil uh, YouTubers, do the uh, knife only. Oh, good lord. I think it's like a four hour video. 
Um, so, props to the guy. Um, I couldn't do that. Well, I mean, I've, I think my best time, because I'm like a speedrunner, I've done is one hour, four minutes on Leon. Um, but yeah, him doing that knife only challenge when he gets to G3, oh, you, you can, like, it legitimately takes like 50 minutes. And then when he gets to like G4, oh my god, you can, you're gonna hear it's taking him like multiple times. It's, you, you can just hear that kind of, oh my god, why am I doing this? Like, so credit to the guy, Dante Ravioli, check him out honestly. He does a whole bunch of like challenge runs on like all different Resident Evils. Mainly the new ones, obviously, because they're obvious reasons. Um, but he's great, really good commentary, and just and you know what? he showed me a few things. I'll tell you that. Here we go. Ah, oh, fax machines. Who remembers fax machines, eh? I'll tell you who does, though. Japan. They still use fax. It's crazy. Okay. He's a reaper? God. Extreme caution? Hmm. Oh Jesus, bad touch. I really hope you guys can't hear my washing machine on in the background, it's being ridiculously loud today. So if you can hear that, I do apologise. Tell you what though, it's been so hot in England at the minute. It's like a second heat wave we're having. It's like 24 degrees. Oof. Well sorry, like 27 degrees, what the hell am I saying, Christ? 24 wouldn't be too bad. Like last night it was like 22 degrees in my bedroom. Jesus Christ, honestly. We Brits, we're not, we like summer, we love it. We love it for about a week, maybe two at a push. But I'm telling you, after a while we just start to hate it and just want the rain to come back. Especially me, I'm more of a winter guy. 
Because winter, like, see, here's my two cents. In winter, it's easy to warm up. Easy to warm up. In summer, it can just be such a ball ache to even attempt to get cool. But, you know, I know a lot of people would disagree with that statement. See what Albert Wesker's been here checking his checking to. No use for it, my ass. Oh, Wesker, you dirty boy. That is <laughs> a terrible render, that. Good lord. She would get it, though. I'm actually looking forward to the new Resident Evil um, like CGI film that's coming out. Um, with the whole gang back together almost. Like, except for Barry, obviously, because Barry can like never be in any of the films. Except that terrible live action one that W that Anderson guy did. Jesus Christ. It's the only time I've ever seen him in a film. But no, yeah, Rebecca's in it, and, and for some strange reason, the Jill from Resident Evil 3 remake, which I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing. Now, why do I feel like I'm missing something? Oh my god, I'm such an idiot. Oh my god, I can't believe that's on camera. How did I forget to get the key? Oh my god. Well, this video is going to be four minutes longer. I cannot believe I've just done that. Jesus Christ. Oh my God. I, I promise I'm really good at these games. I promise. <laughs> How the hell did I forget? Oh my God, that's so much backtracking. I was wondering why that door didn't open. I was like, oh, maybe it's not this one. Oh my god, how the f I just. Oh, god damn. <laughs> right then, let's get back to it. <laughs> Do you know what, as well, because I was wondering when we got to take that the second floor near you know, the star's office, I was like, why isn't the cutscene activating either? I do apologise about that little bit of backtracking there, guys. I swear to Christ, that won't be happening ever again.
about that? See, here we go. Ah! Dodge there. Beautiful. Leon. Claire, you made it. Yeah. Have you seen a little girl around here? Yeah, you just missed her. Who is she? I don't know. But it's too dangerous for her to stay here alone. Leon, I'll go look for her. You go and find us a way out of here. Of course. But before I forget, here's a radio. That way we can keep in touch if something comes up. Excellent. Right though, guys. Okay, so we're going to stop there for today. I just want to say thank you very much for watching. And if you, got it, if you made it this far, uh, thank you. Uh, I do apologize about that little bit of backtracking there. That was very humiliating. But listen, I do apologize. So yes, if you enjoyed it, leave a like and a comment below, and maybe consider subscribing because um, we're going to be doing the whole Resident Evil games. Um, we've basically gone from three to two, and we're going to do one next. Um, obviously, this might be a three or four part series. So yeah, I hope you enjoy it, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.